When scientists first look through microscopes, one of the things that they first noted, especially in plant cells, is that it looked like there was this big empty thing. And so they were looking at it going, hmm, big empty thing. But it's actually, we know because they're looking through microscopes, that it's actually small. So they called it a little empty thing. Vac, you've seen before in words like vacuum, which means an empty space. So vacuoles are just membrane sacs inside of a cell. And just similarly, there's smaller versions of vacuoles called vesicles. Both of these membrane sacs are used for storage of materials. Now, the larger ones called vacuoles are typically used to store things like water and food, while the smaller ones called vesicles are often used to contain or store things like neurotransmitters, the chemicals used to communicate between a neuron and some other cell, or they're used to transport uh, materials from one location in the cell to another. If we take a look over here at a plant cell, you can see this large structure here is the water vacuole. Um, generally, a plant will help inflate its cell by pumping water into the one central vacuole that it has. So in a plant cell, you'll easily be able to spot the water vacuole. It's this big thing right there, and in, in fact, they had to shrink it to make it fit in this diagram, because usually it is the largest structure that you'll see. In a plant cell, or sorry, in a animal cell, you'll see lots of little sacs. All of those could be vacuoles. Perhaps they're storing some food or some starch or whatever. Um, sometimes they may be smaller ones that are already filled with various chemicals. And uh, so if they're moving around, they're generally considered to be vesicles. And that's it. So vacuoles and vesicles, they're just sacs. The big difference is scale.